Hello dear friends, today I am going to start this series just for the beginners how you can start Arduino and uh, how you can code and I will do the step by step instructions for the new users, new beginners and it will be very helpful video and will also give the codes and schematics I will also recommend some books as well as and uh, some other things uh, which are which will be included uh, like softwares and also some websites like Tinkercad I have been using myself and also the Proteus so I will make a tutorial on Proteus first and then I will show that same process on the Tinkercad website so let's get started so I have Proteus on my screen right now and uh, as you can see when you will open the Proteus you will see this whole screen so you don't have to do anything or just click on this blue icon which says ISIS click on it and you a uh, new environment will open a new window will open here you can see uh, this is the environment where you can put all the components here so the first thing you have to do is to bring in the components so I will Today I will do the interfacing of LCD with an Arduino. I will write the code and also I will make a schematic on Proteus as well as on Tinkercad. So click on this P to bring more components. First of all you need Arduino. Here we have the Arduino. You can also search Arduino here as well. So you will get all the Arduino on the screen. I will bring in the Arduino UNO. Click OK. Here it is. Next component you will be needing is LCD. And uh, keep that in mind. I am using 16 by 2 LED. You can use 20 by 4 LED as well. So I have this LCD here with me. Alphanumeric display 16 by 2 alphanumeric LCD you can use 20 by 4 as well let me show you 20 by 4 alphanumeric LCD so for this tutorial I will be using 16 by 2 alphanumeric LCD click OK so these are the main components you also need a potentiometer to adjust the uh, brightness of LCD I will show you that in the Tinkercad website you will see it soon so bring in the Arduino UNO on the environment and also the LCD so LCD has uh, different pins I will uh, make a detailed video about this LCD pinouts so I will not go further details in into it and Not just so Arduino has so many pins on this side and on this side so these pins are digital pins and these are the analog pins and these are the power reference pin but uh, in Proteus you can get ex external power first of all connect the wires with the Arduino UNO so you have to use the least common bit D7, D6, D5 and D4 and also enable read and write and reset pin also VE for uh, V0 or VE pin to adjust the brightness of the LCD and also VDD and VSS VDD and VSS you guys know that so first of all I will connect this pin with third pin of the Arduino and D6 with D4 and D13 with and also D4 with D5 you can uh, adjust according to the uh, LCD pinout I will do that 
in the future video and now you need an enable pin with pin 7 and also RS reset pin with 8 and RW will be go to, uh, will goes to ground and VSS will also goes to ground and VDD will be connected to the supply so I will bring in more components like ground component but you cannot uh, bring in the ground component from here you have ground component power ground this is the ground component on terminal modes let me connect this with ground and this component will goes to VCC this will goes to VCC so I will bring in the power component I have made all the connections only 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9 pins only these pins are used in interfacing of LCD with the Arduino so how do we simulate in Proteus first of all we have to write the code I have the code here let's try new here we have so let's remove this here is the void setup and void loop so in the setup but before the setup you have to include the library of LCD include liquid crystal dot h h is a header file which is a usually library file and next thing we have to define the pins for liquid crystal if you keep that in mind the liquid crystal you have to type the l in capital and also c in the capital if you type in a small it will not change its color that means you are right you are writing the code in correct in correct way so I have to define the keys right now so you have to key, uh, define the keys according to your connections we made a connections here so first of all we have to write the code for RS will go to 8 then 7 six five four three this will be our code so in the small brackets we have to type eight seven and comma eight comma seven comma six comma five comma four and comma three so these are the main six pins that you are going to use and bracket close and semicolon you have to add the semicolon at the end of the line because uh, you are terminating your code here or terminating your line here now in the void setup you have you don't have to do anything let's go to the void loop you have to type lcd dot begin you can see I am writing the code and it's changing its color changing its color begin bracket start the size of your LCD 16 comma 2 
and bracket close and terminate your line we call it terminator you can also say that a semicolon as well lcd dot print here you have to type in the double quotation marks in uh, in small braces brackets hello world and terminate this line as well now go to the next line add delay one millisecond and then type another code another line lcd dot clear one second and then delay add delay again you can just copy this line and paste it again so our code is done you can just compile it to check it if there is any mistake but first you have to lcd code for beginners now your sketch is compiling as you can see here the progress here we have some mistakes and that's why it's saying we have some error in the code lcd liquid crystal we have the space here we don't have to add the space so let's compile it again still having the same issue we have to give a variable name like lcd or you can type abc i will type lcd because i am using lcd here as well so if you use abc here you have to use abc here as well. so lcd now compile the code again the error will be gone so here we forgot the semicolon add the semicolon again and check the code again lcd dot We don't have to write anything be uh, between these parentheses in LCD dot clear. That's another error. I'm making this mistake because you can learn how to remove the code from uh, remove the error from your code. Now code is compiling. As you can see, there is so much going on uh, in the description section in the Arduino environment it's done compiling so here you have to copy the file name which has extension called elf so I'm looking for this file which will say extension elf here it is the elf extension just select it the whole path control C just press it and go to the Proteus and double click on 
Arduino and here you have to paste the code paste the link and click OK and you will see something on the LCD but we haven't add the potentiometer here to control the contrast of LCD so bring that as well potentio there are different types of potentiometer so you can use 10k potentiometer or you can uh, use simple 3 kilo ohm resistor you can also rotate the component by pressing plus and minus button on keypad just select the component and just press the button and you will see it's rotating I will connect it here let's bring it down and connect this end to the ground ground component added you can also change the value of potentiometer as well ok let's start the simulation by clicking on display button as you can see there is nothing on the LCD because hello world now it's coming on the LCD it's coming and going because it's blinking because we have added the delay of one second after one second it's coming on the screen and after a second it will disappear simulation is working so same thing I will do that on uh, Tinkercad you can also check this website if you don't have this software Proteus or Arduino software you can just go to the website and make the same simulation okay I, this is the environment of Tinkercad I have already write down the code on this section just click on this code button and the code will appear and uh, just click on start simulation and you will see the some see some results there is something wrong with the code eleven twelve four five six Start the simulation again and still no result.
here we have the circuit according to the code we have 8765432 these are six pins which are interfaces interface with arduino three pin is going to d7 d6 pin is going to four pin and d5 pin is going to five and d6 going is going to six and d uh, enable pin is going to seven and rs pin is going to reset pin is going to eight and the other pin is connected to potentiometer i have already told you that potentiometer is used to control the contrast of the lcd let's start the simulation as you can see hello world is blinking on lcd let's change the contrast of lcd and you will see the hello world is disappeared because of the contrast you can set it to the visible visibility where you can read the hello world clearly so you can print anything you want go to the code and change the code subscribe and start the simulation you will see the subscribe blinking on the LCD thanks for watching and like my video